Summary of CDA's Annual Report and Accounts. Year ended, the 31st of March, 2023. Statement of Financial Activities, Income and Expenditure of CDA. Total Income. The total income for the year ending the 31st of March, 2023, was £590,000, which is a significant increase from the £216,000 CDA earned in the previous six-month accounting period. Even when the differing time periods are taken into account by doubling the income CDA generated in the period from the 1st of October 2021 to the 31st of March 2022, so that it represented a full 12 months of earnings, it would still be 37% less than CDA's income for the year ending March 2023. Whichever way you cut it, CDA has improved its income earnings this year. March 20 Another piece of good news is that 52% of our income this year is unrestricted, with just 48% being restricted. Why is this good? Unrestricted income is money that does not have to be spent on particular things as stipulated by a funding agreement. Having a large proportion of your income as unrestricted income is positive because it means you have more freedom when it comes to deciding how best to use your money. To be spent on particular things, total expenditure. In the year ending March 31st, 2023, we spent £471,000, which is an increase from the £316,000 spent over the six months from the 1st of October 2021 to the 31st of March 2022. But if we doubled the expenditures made over the previous reporting period so that they represented a full 12 months of spending, they would come to £632,000, which is 25% more than was spent in the year ending the 31st of March 2023. In other words, in real terms, CDA's spending has gone down while its income has gone up over the last year. Income minus expenditure. CDA brought in £119,000 more than it spent in the year ending the 31st of March 2023. This is a vast improvement compared to the previous six-month reporting period, where we finished with a loss of £100,000. This means CDA has gone from a loss-making position in the prior period to a profitable position in the current year. This is positive and demonstrates that CDA is managing its expenditure more efficiently. CDA finished the year with short-term assets of £750,000. A large part of this money is cash in the bank. The rest is money owed to us and due to be paid within a year. Money is cash in the bank, creditors, short-term liabilities that CDA owe. Meanwhile, we finished the year owing £400,000. Total assets less current liabilities. This figure is made up of money in the bank and money owed plus our tangible assets, things that we own, minus the money we owe. For the year ending March 31, 2023, it was £750,000 plus £10,000 minus £400,000, which equals £360,000. This is positive as this demonstrates that CDA has more assets than liabilities, which is a primary indicator of financial health. Cash flow, movement of money at CDA, cash generated from operations. CDA earned £229,000 from operations, up from the £78,000 earned in the prior six months. However, even if we doubled the £78,000 to £156,000, so that it represented the amount that could have been earned over a full year, this is still an increase of 47%. This is positive as it highlights that CDA is generating more money from its core operating activities. Pounds to 156 Summary all in all, in terms of the financial health of CDA, it is evident that CDA has significantly improved its financial health, both in terms of income, expenditure, and its net asset position. This is reassuring and is testament to all the hard work of the staff team and trustees at CDA. However, it is important to note that financial statements, by their very nature, highlight a historic view, albeit a recent historic view. And it is therefore important that CDA build on all of these strong results in the current and future periods.